Hello, and welcome back to Rainworld Downpour, and farewell, Artificer. 39 cycles, almost 10 hours, and I like how, what, like 6 hours of that is after actually beating the game and being done with it? Thanks, scavengers. Now, it's time for the Rivulet. Breathes underwater and moves through the world with ease. These adaptations are essential, as you'll be pitted against a world of increasingly frequent floods, where time is of the essence. Also, sounds like a bit of an annoying mechanic. It might be kind of a similar thing to Artificer, where like, the tech and moves are really fun, but then the whole mechanic of the rain cycles being extremely short is actually like, very boring. But then again, maybe it's something where like, you know, it's, it's floods, it's not that it's raining more often, it's like, things are changing in water levels a lot and you can like, Handle that, maybe. I don't know. We will see. Let's jump in. One quick interjection here I forgot to mention, because it's it's pretty obvious, but I should spell it out. Since we're now jumping into a new campaign, a new character, the spoiler guard will be 100% up again. Please do not give any tips, any advice, any hints, wink wink, nudge nudge, or anything like that. If it's something I haven't seen or done yet, just do not have it in your comments for Rivulet. Even if I make, like, the wrong assumption about something, I don't want that corrected. Unless I specifically ask. But, as always, it's fine to point out things that happen on the screen. But I do not want any tips or backseating or even vague comments referring to something coming up. Please and thank you. Enjoy the show. No, uh, intro cinematic. Where am I? Oh. Was that a scavenger again? Don't, don't be scavengers. Am I a vegetarian? Oh, I just tried to, like, artificer rocket jump just out of habit. I am not able to eat the scavenger. Whoa, I have hops. And yeah, I guess we can like, maybe we can swim and like, jump up out of the water like that, yeah? Okay, not entirely sure how to do that. But yeah, I guess it's like Monk 2.0 basically. Still only get, oh wow, that's a very small hunger bar. We're very fast. Uh, do we have anything like any special mechanics? Just spamming different, different button combinations. We can't like explosive jump or anything. I guess we're just like faster in general. So if I do this, it's like a oh, it's a pretty big leap, but it's certainly no uh, rocket jump. And then we can only eat one more above what we need to hibernate. So that's kind of a problem. Like, you have to eat basically your full stomach every single, uh... Oh. Oh god. What is that? Every single life. So can I actually just breathe underwater? Kind of seems like it. Big jumps... Oh, it's a squid. Death to squids. Why can't I grab him? There we go. So if I just, like, spam jump under here? I never run out of air? Ever? Or stamina? Oh, no. Well, I've drowned on Rivulet. They said it couldn't be done. Oh, okay. I'm fine. All right, so you do actually have an air meter. It is not infinite, but I'm assuming you can stay underwater for a very long time unless you keep spamming the jump thing, but I'm guessing you kind of want to, especially against a wall like this, because it gives you like a big speed boost, it seems, when you like shoot off walls. Okay, interesting. We have like a normal roll duration. 
Can we, like, wall jump into a single, like, the same wall? Not really. Yeah, it's just a really speedy boy. Hi, pop bugs. Gotta love pop bugs. Ow. Jesus, this is insane. This is like the speed run, slug cat. I'm making squelching sounds. I don't know if that's like... If you have to keep hydrated in a weird way. If I like... Or wait, no, that's... Oh god, the rain is here already. Uh, I don't know where to go. Drainage, I should have gone right. Is that gonna fill up here? Yeah, this is like a really lengthy area. Can I just wait for it to fill up and then go into the hibernation point? Is that possible? Let's just wait and see. Sorry about your ears. What are you doing? Go down! Oh boy. I'm fine. I'm assuming if we stay out when it's like getting darker, you would just die eventually. But I'm not entirely sure why. Or maybe that's just visibility? That might just be a visibility thing and then like you would just run out of air because you can't see where you're going. I guess we'll have to try that. So yeah, I mean, obviously on Rivulet, I'm gonna try and want to go reverse that. I'm gonna want to try and go to the east, to Shoreline, because that's gonna be, like, probably... If if Rivulet has a unique area, like Outer Expanse and like uh, Metropolis, it's probably going to link up to Shoreline in the bottom right, I would imagine. So the question then is, do we go there first, or do we try and visit 5P first? Assuming that's where we actually want to go. It might be better to try and go to 5P first, and then visit Looks to the Moon and Shoreline. But that is kind of a big ask. Yep, look at that rain timer. It is very short. So I guess I'm gonna try and go, like, out to outskirts, honestly. Wow, look at that jump. Like, that feels like it would be the best thing I can do. Also, eat this. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's any other, like, special maneuvers we can do. I don't know what you're doing, but sure. Can we eat bats? Or are we completely vegan? We can eat bats, but not scavengers for some reason. And I do get full, one full blip from uh, a bat, so that's nice. So it's not quite like saint levels, uh, not saint, monk. Oh, backflips are good. I see, that makes sense. Yeah, big, big backflips. What other, like, moves do we have? I, I can't even remember, like, what you can do as a slug cat. Like, sliding, obviously. Oh, that's a problem. I'm just gonna try and, like, hibernate real quick. Because we have very little time anyway. So let's just try and do that. Oh, this is gonna be a weird campaign. If you have, like, four minute cycles. I 
I'm assuming that guy is going to be right here. Can I eat a pop bug? What the hell? How did that miss? Oh, of course I can't pull them from walls, sadly. The spears. That's something I was, like, getting used to. That was a very nice mechanic. Like, kind of a... An understated mechanic of Artificer just being able to pull spears from walls, and now we can't anymore. Oh well. We get some water corn. Scavengers, are we friends? Can we please be friends? I should have gotten that pearl from over here. Uh, it might be too late now, though. I saw it, and I th I thought, like, hmm, maybe that would be a good thing to bring to a scavenger, but I just assumed we wouldn't see any scavengers in this region. This is definitely a waste of time, right? Oh, it's definitely a waste of time. Never mind. I'm just gonna hope that scavengers aren't the enemy, I guess. Don't kill me. Okay, he's not like immediately raising his spear. Maybe we're neutral-ish? That's a bit of a problem. Oh, get him. I'll help you. Oh god. Uh, I don't have anything to fight with. Never mind. I'm not gonna help. I'm just gonna run. Rivulet is a coward, not a fighter. I'm gonna assume we do, like, less damage as well with spears and stuff. That would just make sense. What? Whoa, wait! I can pop these myself? I can just will them into populace. I saved you! Yep, that, that's great. Now, uh, all the scavengers love me because I saved one of them. So we have some sort of pearl in here, which seems like that would be a good idea to try and get back to Moon. If it's like a relevant one. Oh boy, it's already out of time. But we are close to the uh, the entrance here. I don't know if I can make it out though. I don't know if I can make it. Especially make it out. Oh, this is this is where the mod is definitely a bit unfair, I guess. I am definitely getting an advantage here, but I'm gonna take it. I have no shame, because I wouldn't be able to get out like that quickly. Look at that leap. Without the uh, faster gates mod. Well, the rain still kills you, so I guess it didn't matter. I did not cheat, in fact. It's fine. No cheating was done. But now we know where to go, at least, and yeah, there's like kelp monsters everywhere instead of, uh... What's it called? Oh yeah, I don't need to do this. Kelp monsters instead of these, uh... Fake poles. I don't know what to call them. Great, great throw. Love it. 
Why did you throw it to the right when I was clearly facing left? Or I thought I was. Let's get some corn. So yeah, now on the way we could try and get that pearl. Wait, no, that was that was earlier. Yeah, never mind. Not gonna try and get a pearl. Yeah, just like the base movement is very interesting. Are you dead? Okay, that's good. But I assume I can't eat lizard. Yeah, I can't eat lizard. So it's sort of like uh, like Survivor, I guess. Like, we can eat small things, but not, like, anything bigger than a squid or whatever, I assume. And you... you... Fo what? Wait, is that just because I'm holding it, or because I'm holding... Shift? I'm not entirely sure how that auto-popping works. If I just, like, stand and hold them, stand still, maybe they just pop? I've been holding, like... Damn it. The eat key... Uh, let's hope that I find more food. I would rather have rock and stick. The unbeatable combo. Definitely seems like we'll want to uh, flight rather than fight on this character. In most situations, it seems like fighting is going to be a, a poor decision compared to just like getting the hell out of there. See, I don't know. Like, I guess specifically for this character, the Faster Gates mod is kind of a big deal because, like, on any other Slugcat, getting, saving, like, 15 seconds is not gonna really do anything, but on this one, it actually does kind of make... Whoa! Oh, Caramel Lizard! Make a big difference. This place is scary! What's happening with Outskirts, man? This is not what I remember Outskirts being like. Oh, I really want that karma flower, but... Uh, can I get it? What the hell? Fuck me! Oh, okay. Not sure that was worth trading a spear, but it's fine. I have karma. Just in time. Okay, good. So maybe going through outskirts was actually kind of a bad idea, but I guess I'm gonna try and go, like, that route. Industrial into chimney canopy into, uh, whatever it is. Is it Sky Islands? Or do you... You don't go Sky Islands. You just go directly to uh, the wall, right? Yeah, we get the Wanderer. I guess we can get the survivor, probably, as well. That would be nice. Oh god, this is gonna be scary, isn't it? Yeah, it's like raining as well. I guess shelter failures are probably gonna be- oh, nice. Probably gonna- wow, you got absolutely destroyed. I did not think they were strong enough to do that. Yeah, maybe shelter failure happens more frequently for Rivulet. So, I mean, I guess it makes sense, too, like, we were in the past with uh, Artificer and other other slug cats when it was, like, the world was drier, and here it's, like, the world is wetter because there's just been more and more rain, like, consistently, the rain just keeps, like, increasing over the years, I guess, and that's why this is, like, the most recent campaign, like, or future, so to speak. What are you? Just a centipede? Can I eat centipedes, I wonder? Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, it's just like survivor rules, I guess. Wow! Don't do it. Don't do it. Go, go, go. Yeah, you and me, Centipede. I know your pain. Alright, well, that was quick. Yeah, this really is the speedrun slug cat. That would be pretty fun to see. Like, I have watched a uh, survivor speedrun of this game, but I have not watched any other slug cat. It would be kind of fun to see a uh, rivulet speedrun, because I imagine that is, like, pretty insane. See, so, yeah, I'm just gonna hibernate here again. Let's try and get, like. Hold on. Let's try and get, like, quick and easy hibernations to see if I can get Survivor really quickly and get, like, progress on other passages as well. Alright, I think we can do one more life. Feels like I've done so many, so, like, oh, I should probably end it off, but they're just very quick. So, wait, which one was that? Was that Outskirts? We still have Safari mode to find? I mean, I, I think I'm gonna leave that... It would be easy to get as Rivulet, or not easy, but, like, fun to run around, but, yeah, I, I just want to, like, go fast. We might do that on, like, Survivor or something at some point, getting all of the Safari modes and whatever else. Yeah, once again, it would be really fun to try and uh, play Rivulet in Arena mode to see, like, what you can really do. Can we do fast climbing? No, fast climbing doesn't work on Rivulet because every time you swap over to the side, you just, like, you just fly off the pole instead. Wait, do you? Did I just do it wrong? Yeah, you just, like, jump off. Uh, I forget which way you go to, uh, Chimney Canopy. Isn't it, like, a little further east, I think, up here? Yeah, like... Oh, Jesus Christ! Panic Spear Throw. Yeah, here and then up. It's a big centipede. No, it's not here. Is it further back? Oh boy. It's not even here! I forget where it is! Crap! I don't know where to go! It's been so long. Is this a colored pearl? Yeah. Well, I can't really uh, get it. Hold on, let's... Let's place it down, like, over here. Just so it's on the map there, instead. It's not on the map. I don't know, maybe it'll update later. I don't know why that's, like, not quite working. I am not sure where to go, though. No unlock there. Where am I going? I don't remember this region. It's been too long. Oh, that's nothing. It has been too long since Industrial, I don't remember how to get to a uh, Chimney Canopy. Like, I usually don't go that way, I come from Chimney Canopy into Industrial. So I don't remember how to get there now. This is definitely not the way. But I guess we're just kind of uh, exploring a little bit. Not really anything wrong with that. Oh, this is different, isn't it? Yeah, we're out of time anyway, so... 
I suppose that's all right. Like, this is a gate leading into, what, drainage system? I don't want to do that. I don't really care about that, so yeah, I guess we're just dead. I mean, I guess I, I might as well go in and see what region it is, since we can't get anywhere anyway. Well, rip survivor. Oh, big, big loading spike. What is that, like, at the top? Why is it so weird? It's just, like, cut off the entire screen. That doesn't look intentional. It was like the whole screen was too... too far down. This is drainage system, isn't it? I think so. Oh man, I don't like that this is gonna be the rain. Oh. Wow. Oh, it's pipe yard. Uh, do I want this? Do we want to be in pipe yard? I, I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm gonna be in pipe yard, I guess. I guess pipe yard is like, what was it? Pipe yard was between... Oh god, where was it between? Was it shoreline or was it the wall or sky islands or something? It was like an inter intermediate area between like the lower ones, outskirt and industrial, and the like top ones in the sky, I feel. So I guess we can try and get like up and to the left and we should be able to get to 5p, I think. But it's a bit weird, like I would have preferred just going into chimney canopy, I, I guess. But I don't remember the way, so sure. We have like four collectibles here as well. Not sure we'll be able to get any of them, but... Yeah, I guess we'll continue here. It's at least something that's like more new than going through Chimney Canopy for the 10th time. Because I didn't actually like do too much in Pipe Yard as uh, Gourmand, right? Like I did some stuff, but not everything. So yeah, Reveal, it seems very strange. I'm not sure I like the whole uh, gotta go fast thing. Like I love the, the mobility and stuff, but yeah, just having like five minute cycles maximum is a... Uh, I don't know. I don't really care for it too much, and I also don't like the fact that my ears are going to die from the rumbling. But I guess you get used to it, and I mean, we already got like pretty far in just a couple lives, so it's just like you die quickly, you get back up again, you run out there, and you like... You probably don't feel quite as stuck most of the time, maybe? So, yeah. This certainly seems like a campaign that's not gonna take as long as Artificer or Gourmand, but who knows what's in store. We will see. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.